May 29th at 9.25 p.m. Entry 62. Stolen by a model psychologist? Okay, the most insane thing just happened to me over the course of the last few hours. Today went okay to begin with. I woke up late, did my P90X workout at Gold's Gym, then went home quick enough to grab a drink before Kevin, wrestling practice friend, came to pick me up. I hopped in the car and went to wrestle for about an hour. When I got back, I took a quick shower and prepared to meet with a guy from who knows where with the online screen name that bracket implied he was hung and bracket. On my way there, as I got close to meeting him, a car pulled up. It was a muscular black man. That must be him, I thought to myself. We started talking for a little bit, then I hopped in his car and went back to his place. His sister's place, really, I think. Two hours passed, as we conversed, and he showed me his modeling pictures and revealed he was bisexual, but leaned slightly more towards guys, and that he also studies psychology, as well as is currently a forensic psychologist. When it was time to drop me off, he gave me a hug, and he drove me to the top of my street and parked. He admitted he wasn't the guy I was supposed to be meeting, and that it might have been something akin to divine intervention. He called me over uh, when I was on my way to meet with the original dude earlier in the day because he thought I looked like someone he knew from school, his brown school friend, Marcus. And I had a conversation at length with him because I thought he was the dude, uh, bracket. He said he figured out I wasn't who he thought I was but kept talking to me because I hadn't figured it out yet and because he thought I was attractive, I think. Uh, comment in May 12, of year 13, end bracket. I told him I wasn't mad in the least and laughed a ridiculous amount to myself as I left. It was unbelievable. Although it explains why his phone kept calling me and sending texts even though I was already with him. <laughs> I guess this means uh, I have to apologize to the original dude. Entry number 63, July 14th, year 9. Familial infighting. <sighs> I don't get it. Nothing tears my heart up like my mother and grandmother arguing. Maybe I should have asked Ben to stay a little longer to avoid the confrontation. Why am I so affected by them arguing? I had to scream at them this time to get them to calm down. Why does it hurt so much? September 17th, Year 9, Entry 64. Unprotection. <sighs> I had unprotected sex with Will today. The muscular, dark-skinned, cancer model and personal trainer that I met up with thinking he was the dude from online. Now I must reflect on what I've done. Even though he is likely clean, the fear of uncertainty makes me question my occasional desire to meet or fool around with new people. It makes me question the point of becoming physically attractive. Is it for myself? Or is it for others while I just say that it's for myself? It kind of makes me want to just love Ben, stop trying so hard and leave it at that. Bracket. Why do I try so hard? End bracket. 